Hello there! Wow, welcome and finally it's happening! In the sun no less, a tutorial for Come Sail Away by Styx, which you probably know. Great song! We're going to have a look at the chords for now and it's in C handily and there are some really cool elements in the loud part. Come sail away, come sail away. But they're really um, playable for everybody, regardless of your level. All you need to do is practice a bit the continuous movement, as you'll no doubt understand later on. So let's just start and go at C. C, the place and the chord. I'm E minor, sailing away. A minor. And then there's a little bit of a to go to the F, but what's really happening is just simply A minor, lift the middle finger and play an A minor 7, everything open, and then we go to the F. So play the F. Set an open course for the... And G, wow, the virgin C. G, virgin C. And then we've got the same thing again. Let's have a look at that with the chords over here. Okay, I'm just going to move here a tiny bit. Cause I've got to be free. A minor and just lift everything. We'll have a look at those little numbers later. F. Free to face the life that's ahead of me. So what you notice already is that there are two beats per chord. One and two and. And if there's a slash, that means it's times two. It's C and another C with the slash. That means, yes, boats. It's, we're close to the sea here, actually, uh, which is where we're going. So we can try and have a little strum, maybe. One and two and a one and two. Down, up, down, down. Although it's best to play it in finger picking. We'll have a look at that with verse number two. On board, I'm the captain, two and a G. So climb aboard, two and a We'll search for tomorrow, two and a one, and on every shore, and I'll try. Already G? Oh Lord, I'll try. A minor, and here A minor sideways means it's one beat, because you've got one beat of A minor, and one beat of everything lifted, or with the numbers written, F. Two count. On. And this C actually marks the start of the interlude, which is the intro, really. Which is, I think, the loveliest bit of the song. It's really great to have a look at in depth. Um, we can talk about finger picking, because the finger picking first will help us for this intro. Now, all I'm going to talk to you about is very simply numbers. We're going to start with our right hand, and I know you in America you may, in the land of sticks, <laughs> you may start with this as a one, but actually because we count our strings here for convenience, one, two, three, four, we're also going to count one, two, three, four. And what we're going to play is the loop of one, two, three, two, four, three, two, three. Ooh, what's that? Well, each finger a string, and on a C we're going to play one, two, three, two, four, three, two, three, right? So just think one, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, four, three, two, three, one, two, three, two, four, two, three, two, three. And slowly we can also start that by playing one and three at the same time. You see, this is why we can write one, three together, two, three, two, four, three, two, three. Let's one, Let's go. Again. We can even, especially for the chords that have two, the two same notes on G and E string, we can actually pluck all the fingers like a harp. And two, three, two, four, three, two, three. Let's try that with just the chords of the first part. One, two, three, Four. And here, a 
another A minor. And instead of the second part, instead of the four other plucks, we're going to play G2, which is G string second fret. That's what this notation means. C0, and then lift G0, C0. So, two, oh, oh, oh. So, we've got A minor, but then G, C0, G0, C0, and F. Two of those for the on a G and if you don't land on exactly the right fingers it doesn't matter basically what you want is just a constant pluck 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 if you mix them up it really doesn't matter if you pluck two at the same time or just ones all the time doesn't matter you just want to pluck 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 but you can have a look at this little plucking pattern if you really want to integrate that let's have a look with plucking verse 2 and don't bother if sometimes I mix it up a bit that's just how you should um, approach it also. One and two and three and four and why look to the sea A minor ding 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 reflections in a way spark my memory some Of childhood friends and the dreams we had. We've lived happily forever, so the story goes. But somehow we missed out on the pot of gold. But we'll try best that we can. To carry on. <laughs> and then we arrive at the big riff, which is like this. One, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, F, and, and, G, 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 two, three, four, F. So what you need to understand here is that each underlined dash is the beat, but each little dash that's not underlined is the and. So we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, and we've got just a C, one and two and three and, and then an F, 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 G, G, G. Because what's happening here is that we've got one and two and three So we've got on the and after the two and the and after the three, another F. And on the and just before the new chord, we've got G, G, G. I'm doing special shapes. I'll mention these just afterwards. So we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and G, two, three. Same F again, F and two and three and four. Wow, let's do that whole loop, but first, F and G, we can play them differently. We can play them in the loveliest of ways. We can play them 5 open, 5 8. So this may be tricky on a big tenor, like this APC one, but I think you'll manage on the soprano. Just make sure you play string by string to make sure that, that it's not like this, that you've got each string ringing nicely. So C. F5058 and G70710 and F and it's really lovely it brings a song to life to play it like this now if you're not feeling like playing them like this I would suggest to just use the usual shapes but that would be really lame and sad which you are not <laughs> so I'm sure you'll manage just try it and you'll see you'll manage eventually it's not beyond your reach just try it you just need to make sure you arch nicely the index finger so it doesn't mute the C string. So you just want to maybe swivel the wrist here. Let's just do that as a loop. And then I'll sing with it so you can see what that could sound like in the hook. A gathering of angels. Three, four, C and two and 
three and four and F and two and three and four and D two three four F two and three and four and C two three four F two and three and four and D two three four F two bit faster with a gathering of angels. A gathering of angels, hear me on my head. They sang to me this song of hope, and this is what they said. They said, come sail away. Ah, oh, and then come sail away, new section. You want to constantly have this movement. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. And basically, you're going to strum when you sing. That's the idea. One, two, three, four. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. You see, I'm just playing when I'm singing. Come sail away. But new shapes again, C, and now an F, but you keep the ring finger. And now, just move that two frets up and make sure all strings are ringing, including the C string that's still open. So remember, C, F with the ring finger, move everything two frets up, and then two frets down again, and that's your loop. can add a few strums. This is what's going on in the song sheet in the description. You can print that, maybe that will make your life easier. Three, four. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away. So the most important thing is to constantly have this movement here. Two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and then you can come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with you. So you can keep that going for about an hour and get everybody really pumped up about sailing or crossing the universe to find the meaning of life, depending on how you read the song. Oh, of course, the finger picking, the intro, the interlude. Well, I'm just, this is a bit long now. <laughs> for the YouTube algorithm. It's going to slaughter me even more than usual. So I'm just going to put that also in a patron special video so that uh, all the patrons have access to that and the song sheet. What a... See you soon. Bye bye.